It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'll be talking about a bill that many opponents call the Don't Say Gay Bill because more recently in Florida, they have passed this bill. Many critics of the bill label it as homophobia and so for this video, what I'm going to do is just analyze the bill and give my personal thoughts and opinions about it. Now contrary to popular belief, the actual bill is not called Don't Say Gay Bill but is actually called H1557 and so without further hesitation, let's read it out loud. An act relating to parental rights and education, amending 1001.42, requiring district school boards to adapt procedures that comport with certain provisions of law for notifying a student's parents of specific information, requiring procedures to reinforce the fundamental rights of parents to make decisions regarding the upbringing and control of their children in a specific matter. Prohibiting the procedures of prohibiting a parent from accessing certain records, providing construction, prohibiting a school district from adapting procedures, or student support that prohibits school district personnel from notifying a parent about specific information. Prohibiting school district personnel from discouraging or prohibiting parental notification and involvement in critical decisions affecting a student's mental, emotional, or physical well-being, providing construction, prohibiting classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity and certain grade levels or in a specific manner. Here's a summary of the whole entire paragraph. What it's trying to say is that parents have a right to raise their kid however they want to in regards to terms like sexuality and because they have that right to raise them however they want to they are also saying that certain grade levels are not allowing to have like, you know, discussions about gender identity or sexual orientation. Now this part is interesting because it goes to like a lot of details of the grade levels. It says that classroom destruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through grade three or in a matter that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. When I was reading the whole entire bill, I honestly did not understand the outrage for it. People say it's the don't say gay bill, yet at the same time, not a single word of the word gay was even used throughout the bill. You guys can see for yourself in the link to the description box down below, and honestly, I did not spot the word gay and any parts of the bill. Now, it refers to sexuality, that sexuality and gender identity is not to be discussed by like the kindergartners and also the third graders. And honestly, sexuality can refer to like a number of different things. It can refer to, of course, heterosexuality. It can refer to bisexuality. It can refer to, of course, the other sexualities. And so, it's not just homosexuality that could be a reference to this bill, but a number of different sexualities that's a direct reference in the whole entire bill. So it's not just targeting gay people, but it's targeting towards all sexualities in general. More so to the point, why should people talk about sexuality to like little, little kids? I'm not talking about gay or like homosexuality. I'm just talking about any type of sexuality, straight, gay, bisexual, why should little, little kids need to have a discussion about this? Like, they don't have the mature capacity to understand this sort of topic. And I will say that the best way to actually talk about any type of sexuality is sex education class. Because in sex education class, at least in that context, it makes like a lot of sense to talk about things like sexuality because, you know, teenagers during that whole entire period are discovering their own personal identity, their own personal sexualities. And so, in that sort of setting, in that classroom, I would say that it's actually really appropriate for teenagers to discuss about sexuality than like little, little kids. 
But let's just say for the sake of argument that sexuality did in fact refer to just gay people. Honestly, I don't like the idea of forcing a sexuality onto like a little, little kid. For example, on Nickelodeon for Blue's Clues, there was actually a drag queen that was like being sponsored for that children's network. Now, I'm not against the idea of like, you know, gay characters in kids media. I'm not against that idea. However, to push the idea of a drag queen onto like a kids TV show is like way too far. Incredibly way too far because drag queens in general are very sexualized things. And so that kind of idea of pushing that kind of sexuality like, you know, to be a drag queen I don't find to be very appropriate for like little, little kids. Another example is the recent banning on books such as Genderqueer. Now, I'm not against the idea of having gay characters for books in school libraries, not at all. However, the content inside that book is so incredibly graphic. We're talking about people who are just giving other people blowjobs in that book. We're talking about like, you know, dried up period. And so I don't think that kind of book is actually appropriate for like little, little kids to read and to understand. Or another example where a teacher literally just openly admitting to having kids to go to a camp to teach them about masturbation. So what can I conclude from this whole entire outrage? Honestly, the whole thing to me seems a bit overblown. Like I said earlier, Sexuality can refer to homosexuality, heterosexuality, and bisexuality. It does not refer to gay people throughout the whole entire bill. And so any sort of talks about sexuality and gender identity, no matter the sexuality, it is not allowed to, you know, be taught to kids from elementary school to third grade. Which is good to me because such discussions are not okay to refer to like kids to until they're like they're actually mature and a teenager to have these sort of discussions. And so to me, it's not necessarily a bill that targeted like gay people, more so it's a bill that are against like groomers in schools. And honestly, I would say that kind of bill is really helpful. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.